Hey YouTube, I am Leo with RemodelingCalculator.org and it's a moment we've all been waiting for. It's time to put this bad boy on a pedestal. So, just if you don't know, this is a ductless mini split heat pump and it's an outside unit, the condenser, that does all the work and I am mounting it on the wall right there. I'm going to show you in a second. So, uh, the unit itself is 33 sear, uh, extremely energy efficient. Fujitsu, and this is a high heat, high heat model, so it works for heating in a negative 15 degree Fahrenheit. Now I'm making videos about every step of this project, so if you want to do it yourself, you can definitely learn from me, as well as other pretty good videos on YouTube, but uh, I do very in-depth, detailed video because it took me a while to figure this out. Now the HVC part I'm actually going to have a contractor help me out with, but everything else I'm doing myself. So you can look at the videos and decide if you want to try try this yourself or definitely want to go with the contractor. All right. So without without further ado, let's get this on. So there is my wall mount, and I've made another video where I actually show you how I installed that, how to make sure that it doesn't fall off your wall. <laughs> because you don't, want to, you don't want that to happen. This is a very expensive piece of equipment. And uh, most contractors actually don't do a good job installing these wall brackets because they don't find your rafters and they don't mount it into the rafters. So watch that video. I linked it in the description below. But let's get it going. So they exactly match the width of the legs on the compressor. And... Uh, Uh, fix it in place. We have our bolts right here. So it's almost tightened, pretty much it's done. I don't think it's going anywhere. Alright, so now what's left is to run my uh, my Freon lines or line set right here. Connect my electricity. I'm gonna measure it all right now and then in a, uh, basically in a couple days my HVC guy is coming and we're going to finish it. But uh, everything that you see here, I've done myself. It's not that difficult. If you want to do this yourself, just watch what I do. Um, I still recommend a contractor for free on at least. I'm going to do it the first time with an HVAC guy. Then I plan to add a couple more of these units for the rest of the house. And uh, I'll probably attempt at least one of them to do myself. So I'll have to get a vacuum pump, nitrogen tank with nitrogen, uh, some manifolds. And, uh, and that's it. Uh, it's not that difficult to do it yourself, but the first time I definitely want to see how a professional does it. And maybe I'll, I'll use them for the next installs as well. But uh, So the difficult part was basically attaching this to the wall, because I plan to do siding, so you can see I, raised, I put it on the raised 2x4s right here. Right there. I'm going to add siding with a 2-inch insulation board, just like this, on the outside. So I've done this so I wouldn't have to, you know, remove, wouldn't have to remove this unit. <laughs> that, that, wouldn't be, that wouldn't be cool having to remove this when I do the siding. So I created this space around the mount so I can install it. I've done significant research on this. I bought this from a supplier, this Fujitsu unit I bought from a Fujitsu dealer. Uh, the reason I did that is because if you buy online, you lose a warranty. And I actually got a much better price from a dealer than online. <laughs> So, um, I'm going to do a ductless HVC calculator. What I do is I make calculators for all kinds of remodeling and construction projects. And uh, I'm a contractor myself. I work with a lot of general contractors. So I know the prices for most of the trades. And what I don't know, I heavily research, do it myself, and then I really know. <laughs> and I've done a lot of research on ductless mini splits. I know how much the materials cost. I know how to size this. And I know uh, 
basically how much installers charge for this and how much it should cost. Uh, you can get different quotes, but if you try my calculator, it will be it will be very accurate to what you get in your state. So uh, if you don't want to get overcharged, be sure to use that calculator if you plan to work with a contractor. Because a lot of contractors, they just come in and they tell you, okay, Mitsubishi, high heat, 4,500 bucks. That's what happened to me, actually. <laughs> I was trying to get this uh, this HVC guy, Alex, he's local, uh, to help me out. He's like, well, you want a, you want a mini split, 4,500 bucks. I'm like, whoa, dude, you don't even know what I'm doing. He's like, no, 4,500 bucks. So if you don't want to get overcharged by a contractor who doesn't really understand or care about your project, estimate the real uh, the real replacement or installation cost on the website. I'll put the link in the description below. And this way you won't overpay. And then if you need a contractor, you can uh, request a quote right from there. So thank you for watching. Again, if you want to do this yourself or if you're trying to decide to do it yourself or to hire somebody, Watch my other videos to see how easy or difficult it would be for you. And then you can make your decision. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.